Hello, I'm Penny Melville Brown from Baking Blind. I don't see at all. I can't even tell whether it's light or dark. But I don't let anything stop me from getting the very best out of life. As you can see from all the videos of me cooking around the globe. Let me introduce you to Jennison, a really special guest who's flown all the way from California to cook with me. And he paid thousands of dollars, not to me, but to a charity auction to have the fun and the challenges of cooking in Hampshire. Uh, and so this came up. I obviously heard about you uh, as, as a judge for your Holman Prize a couple of years ago, and I yeah. was fascinated, more just because I understood the concept of what you were doing uh, beyond the cooking. Yeah. Um, and I thought that that would be really interesting. And truth be told, part of it at the auction was I'm super competitive, <laughs> and when I noticed someone else was interested in the same thing, I had to up the ante. And luckily I live and work in Silicon Valley, and here I am. By the time uh, we were recording this, we'd already cooked together. So we'd made a sticky toffee pudding, an apple crumble, a simple savoury tart. And now I was embarking on a simple curry for him. So the first thing, Jenison, is chopping the onions. And I gather that might be a bit of a first for you. It, it is. <laughs> I've not been known for cutting my onions or chopping my onions. Ever? Ever. Jenison, there's loads of clever chefy ways of cutting onions but I'm going to show you a way that just works for me as a blind person so I'm cutting off one end and then the other and can I hand you that so you can feel can you see those little ends yep yep take it back may I take it back yep I'm then going to put it on one of those flat ends so it's nice and stable oh, on the board you're doing. Okay. yep and then I'm just going to cut straight down in half so there's Half an onion, can I just hand it to you to feel? Yep. yep. And then on the outside of this onion, there's that brown papery skin. So we're going to take that off. And again, when we can't see, it's really easy to leave the brown skin on. Right. So I tend to be quite generous with how much I take off. Then Jenison had a go. A bit more force, Jenison. <laughs> I cheated. Okay, there we go. It's kind of half. Now we have to chop the onion into okay. small pieces. It might be too big. No, well, just cut the okay. next one smaller. Okay. Yeah. We were ready to start cooking. I'm just going to put a little oil in the pan. Three. I've counted three. I've no idea how much there is in there, but I'm sure it's enough. If you could gently empty that um, onion into the pan. Do you do a lot of cooking at home? I do not. So this is new, is it? A lot of it is new. Just stuff I don't typically do. So how do you eat in, in San Francisco? <clears throat> in the Silicon Valley, I go out a fair bit, at least three or four nights a week, into either San Francisco or eat locally. Yeah. And the other nights, I'm either taking something out of the freezer into the microwave or ordering food in. Once the onions had softened, we could start adding all the other flavours. These are whole spices, so there are some cinnamon sticks going in, there's some green cardamoms, mm. some coriander seeds, some cumin seeds, some cloves, some black peppercorns and some mustard seed. So all that lot is going in to roast. And this is when you'll start smelling it. And what you'll also hear is the pepper, the mustard seeds, they'll start popping. Okay. So. Looking good, smelling yeah, good. Smelling good. And here are the ground spices. Now I want you to pour that in very gently because do you remember coconut milk may have a big solid piece in there. Okay. So tip it gently into the pan. Okay. And just be ready that something might come plopping out. Okay. Here I've got some chicken thighs. Okay. And what we're going to do, can you just feel my hands? I've got, they've got skin on them. Yes. I don't want the skin in here because okay. that just adds more fat. Okay. So what we're going to do is take the um, skin off and can you feel there's two different sides. That's got more bone mm -hmm. and that's got on the outside of the thigh. Yeah. No, it's the outside of your leg. So we're going to lay them in that side down. Got it. So what are you doing in Silicon Valley? 
I am working at LinkedIn and helping them make our products as inclusive as possible. So what does that mean? Well, we make sure we're following international standards and guidelines to yes. make sure that uh, people, uh, the 1.3 billion people with different disabilities can use our stuff, whether they're using the keyboard alone or they're using a screen reader or screen magnification software. So that's 1.3 billion people yes, in, the world in the world with a disability. Correct. But not all of them are obviously visually impaired. Oh, no, visually impaired is a small subset. Yeah. But still really important. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jillison managed to clunk me on the head when he was trying to put the lid on the pan. <laughs> Did you just... <laughs> Did I kick your head? You hit me on the head with a saucepan lid. <laughs> and once the chicken had been simmering for a while, he checked whether it was done. Feels done to me. Okay, well let's serve it up and have a taste. This is your first curry, isn't it? It is. Well, handmade by Jenison. <laughs> well done. Thank so, you. How was it, your first curry? The preparation was a lot more straightforward than I thought. Um, Even just... slicing the onion? Well, ah, that was something new. <laughs> <laughs> and how did it taste? It tastes really nice. Um, I asked for it not to be extremely spicy and you were gracious enough not to make it very spicy, so that's nice. Um, the, um, what's, ni what's nice is because I smelt all the spices and the, the clove, like the full spices when you were putting them in. The and then cinnamon, the, the cloves. Yeah. yeah. And then just to have it, to taste it in the rice and to smell it while it was cooking. Yeah. All the other senses were turned. That's what it's about, isn't yeah. it? Well, thank you for cooking your first curry mm. for me with me. Thank you very much. And next time we learn a prawn dish that fits in with Jenison's fast lifestyle. And please do check out the sort of podcast with pictures on the YouTube channel, which is where Jenison and I were talking about accessibility and technology and how modern developments can make a real difference for people with disabilities.